Are you going to still play poker tonight? Yes, I am still going to play poker tonight. Why? Is there a problem with that? No, no, of course not. Good. Because I am looking forward to it. This is Big Chris, Little Chris, and... <laughs> I'll try uh, not to get them confused. <laughs> this is Reza. Have you, uh, have you hired them in specially for the evening? What's funny? Oh, you need a sense of humour. Sorry, Razor. Or is, uh, is that Mr. Razor? Reza. It's Greek. Right, well, it's, um, it's, it's lovely to meet you all. Um, obviously, me and Mr. Potato Ed, we know each other of old, don't we? Right, the game tonight's five cards start. Table rules. A sit down at 200 quid, minimum bets of five at nine bets more than a pot of greed. Yeah. Right, let's play poker. Twenty. Then another twenty. I fold. Yeah. What's in the pot? 340. All right. 340 it is. Oh. Fold. Right, so. Will you take a check? I am being funny, but I'd rather have an IU for cash. Bankruptcy and bank accounts don't usually go too well together. Deal. What you got? Flush, you. Two pairs. I've won. Yeah, it's a bit like a monkey writing Shakespeare, isn't it? I've won. Yeah, night ain't over yet, though, is it? Yeah, but um, I, I really ought to be getting back for the uh, well, you ain't for the got babysitter. Stick her out with the big money. Oh, whatever. Here, yeah. <laughs> I owe me, <laughs> fellas. It's been um, <clears throat> it's been lovely meeting you all, and um, must do it again sometime. It's uh, it's been real. Sorry about that. Maybe next time, eh? Bad loser, isn't he? Yeah, what's his problem? You don't chuck it in just because you lose a few quid. It's complicated. There's some mm, history between him and him, you know. Yeah? Well, if I wanted history, I'd go to night classes. I come here to play poker. Yeah, well, look, like I said, it may be next time, eh? Well, so, look after yourself. Yes, take care. I weren't too happy about the game being over so soon. Nothing's over. It's only just begun. You want to get out more, get yourself a nice hobby. Well, you got one, thanks. Mm. Yeah, well, from where I'm standing, it looks more like an obsession. Where is she? Oh, I don't know. What? Well, she was coming and then she changed her mind. Oh, not again. Dad? Don't ask me. She, she must have said why. Well... She got a text, and then all of a sudden, but, everything changed. Right? Yeah, yeah. Who from? I don't know. Oh, up so, now. Um, she'll come. She has to. You were with her earlier on. Do you know anything about all of this? No. The last I knew, she was waiting for the cab. She's got to be here. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't want to come. Shh. Oh, what did you do? Don't you touch him! Go tell him, Mitchell! Get off! Go tell him! Go say it! Hey, 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 you're frightening the kids. Tell them what, Ian? No! Well, drink a walk in any minute now. It's probably just last minute wedding oh, nerves. She ain't coming, is she, Mitchell? You think of that? This has got nothing to do with my Phil. Of course you don't know, do you? No, 
Now what? About Grant. Ask him. No, I'm asking you. What's he meant to have done? Listen, if Jane ain't coming, it's nobody else's fault but Ian's. You told her, didn't you? Told her what? Shouldn't somebody try and find her? Oh, no. I want to hear all about this first. You ain't the only one. Come on, Phil. We're all waiting. Dad? Yeah, you heard Ian. I think we've all got a right to know. Oh, this is getting very silly now. Oh, come on, Phil. Don't keep us all in suspense. You heard him. Mum. I don't understand this. Oh, come on, Peg, you can work it out. What did it say? Get Grant to pay for this. What does that mean, Ian? It means your golden boy Grant was having it away with my future wife. What? You heard. My Grant and Jane go so ridiculous. And this mother of that pig is my way of getting back at you, Mitchells. Dad, stop it. I'm sorry, all right? I'm going to go get Jane, I'm going to bring her back here, and she can explain to you why she did this. Need some help? No. Nope. It doesn't look like you got very far. Just build your fire, will you? He says I've got to kill a wild boar. <laughs> a what? To prove myself, cos I'm the youngest. She's winding you up, Ben. What if one comes during the night? Can you make sure Ian puts your tent nearby, just in case? What do you mean, your tent? The grown-up tent. No, 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 Ben, you got it wrong, mate. See, this is our tent, me, you and your dad. We're keeping it here. This is the Mitchell tent. <laughs> I thought you were all friends now. Well, we are, but... Uh... But I want to be with Peter. Well, it's all right with Ian and it's all right with us, yeah? <laughs> Phil, where are you playing at? I'm not sleeping with Ian Bill. It's an I'd rather sleep in a snake pit. But Bill don't know that, does he? Just let him be Mr Unpopular, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm bunking up with you fellas. I don't understand. It was fine this morning. Yeah, maybe sticking in the tumble dry wasn't such a good idea. Well, it could have happened to anyone. Don't worry about it. Worry? Oh, no, no I'm not worried about it. I wasn't me to put it in a tumble dryer, was it? What heat setting do you use? Typical beer, isn't it? Blame anyone but yourself, even if it is your own kid. No, I'm not trying to blame anyone here. I'm just trying to establish what's happened. Have you heard yourself? It don't matter what's happened. All that matters is how we sort it out. Yeah, who's right? You could build a shelter. How yeah, you can do that? Well, Dad can do it. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Just need to collect some branches and um, leaves. <laughs> this is a joke. Come on, Ben. Go on, you look. I'll help Crocodile down the tea. I'll get tea started. Yeah? Hello. Hello. Hello, listen, I haven't got a good reception. Whoever it is, don't put the phone down, yeah? Hello? Hello? Playing in countryside. What's your tent then? I, uh, I had an accident with a fire. Three of the sleeping bags are ruined and some of the clothes as well. We can make a shelter, Dad. I've seen it on TV. Look, we can't stay here, mate. We've got nothing to sleep in, have we? I'm sorry it was an accident, you know. Come back again in a couple of weeks, yeah? I was cooking the sausages that you bought. 
So it's my fault for buying the sausages? Oh, you're insane. Truth is, you weren't to get home anyway necessary. Listen, one more word at you. I swear you're going to get a smack. Calm down, I feel... Oh, you're setting a great example, you are. I mean, first you burn all the kit, then you're threatening to beat me senseless. Dad! Again? I was prepared to give it a go. I was prepared to try Yeah, well, forget it, because the bills and missiles are finished. Hell! Ah! You want to get some extra training? You ought to be lovely, yeah? I uh, come. I've got circuit training. Yeah, that's what you want to do, you know? Get him on the weights. Don't want to turn into a runt like you, do you? Yeah, I'll have you know he's inherited some of my talent. He's run the fastest 400 metres in the borough. Teachers are talking about the Olympics, Rick. <laughs> Real bunch of winners you lot, aren't you, eh? Once again, Ian Bill gets gold medal for making a prat of himself. my window with this. Oh, you're off your edge, you are. Do you know that? You're going to pay for this, Mitchell. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, by the way, enjoy the view, wouldn't you? <laughs>